Hello and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm the Mingo. Special K. And I'm Fuzzy. Tonight we're going to be doing another Angry Orchard Cider. It's been a while. It has been. Uh, we have Angry Orchard Rosé. It's uh, a cider made with uh, French red flesh apples. Mm. Rare French red flesh apples. Uh, We've had a rosé cider before. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. cider guys. Cider guys, yes. And bubbles. Yeah, I remember that one being probably were they pretty delicious. And it was good. And we were like, nobody will ever know because I'll be like, I ain't drinking something that's a pink can. And you're like, you're missing yeah. out because it's delicious. Yeah, it is good. And yeah. then, like, then, you know, Angry Roaches are like, hey, why don't we do the same thing? Yeah. Uh, this is 5.5% alcohol by volume. Mm hmm. Um,. I will go ahead and say this. I bought an entire six pack of this because it just looked good, and I do enjoy. Uh, I did enjoy that cider, guys. Yeah, oh, yeah. Bubbles. And I, I think just enjoying that one was enough to merit you know buying the six pack of another. Color, pack. Uh, it's like peach almost. It's yeah, like peach, peach is red hue. <laughs> Very tiny carbonation bubbles. In this uh, yeah, there's it's not much there. Yeah. yeah. It smells. You get that fermented smell. It almost smells like a wine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit. A little apple. Get a tiny bit of tartness on yeah. the nose. It smells, yeah. yeah, the apple com definitely comes through compared yeah. to some of the other stuff, but. Uh, well, you know what we have to do? We gotta drink it. We gotta science. We, we gotta toss it out, because it's gonna be terrible. It's for science. Mm. Um, the sweetness is a lot more muted than the cider guys one. Mm. It's not super sweet, but it's sweet enough. Yeah. To where it wouldn't turn people off. It's not quite, it's it's going towards a dry cider, it's like a semi. A little bit, semi yeah. Semi-dry cider. Yeah. And it has that like, it's, Nice buttery, and which is nice. Yeah, it's just sweet enough. If you're used to super sweet ciders, you probably won't care for this one too much. Yeah, but it's not like I said. It's not quite dry. Yeah, and it's definitely it's definitely drier than your typical yeah. angry orchard mm -hmm. as well. We call it like a semi dry or something. Yeah, which I think generally like rosé wines are generally semi dry as well. Mm -hmm. So it kind of works um, well works well in that regard. Angry orchard. They're, as far as their ciders goes, with the exception of their um, straw man, ice man, yeah, and those so big mm -hmm. ones, I was not a big fan of their ciders. They're okay, um, yeah. but this one I like a lot. Oh yeah, it's, well, it's one of those things. I'm I'm curious to see some of the other cider companies try to come out with something like this, especially uh, like Hornsby's if they did something like that. Mm -hmm. Here's the kicker: you know how much you pay for a six pack? How much? Seven ninety nine. Oh wow, that ain't bad. I I, I got it at Cock Smokers Outlet. Mm. Um, for seven ninety nine, Cox's Cox's smokers. It's, smoker. it's oh, really cut, it's really called Cox smokers. Seven ninety nine. Was, was that at the back of a dark alley? No. Um, and then I was like, oh, that had to have been a fluke. But I went to Liquor Barn and they had it for the same price. Okay. So I don't know if it's on sale because it's new or whatever. But uh, seven ninety nine, pretty for good. Because generally That's their cheap. ciders run about ten bucks. Yeah, exactly. $10 Especially because it seems like this is going to be like something small batch and not made. Not a lot's going to be made given. It's made with rare French apples. Yeah. So let's go ahead and rate this. This is an 8.5 for me. Uh, it's great. I love it. I'd recommend it if you're a cider drinker. Um, like I said, it's a semi-dry. It's right in the middle of the road. Oh, yeah. Uh, if, like I say, you're used to super sweet stuff, you know, it might turn you off a little bit, but I think it's excellent. What about you? you go. I'm going to give it an 8. Um, it has a really nice balance to it, and it's not very carbonated, which means you can drink it so fast. Um, I don't like it as much as the Cider Guys one, but it's, it's still really mm -hmm. good. I'm going to give it just a hair more than what Special K did, so I'm going to like set point seven five because it's not quite a full nine in my in my book. So it's a really good cider. It, it it starts well, it finishes well, and again, it's not so sweet and that makes it really drinkable. And the price is right, especially for just the quality of what you're getting. Yeah, it's a beautiful cider. Um, well, obviously, I recommend it, and I recommend getting an entire six pack. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't, I think this is worthy of the entire six pack. Oh, for sure. Um, you agree? Yeah. yeah, I do. All right, well, that's our episode. Don't forget to check us out on Patreon and Facebook. I'm Special K. I'm Domingo. I'm Fuzzy. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.